I haven't, well, that's such an interesting name. I haven't seen you here before. What, what do you do? Oh, well, you know, I actually just got invited from somebody, but you know what? Um, do you know somebody that's ever struggled to lose weight and they tried every diet out there and then really struggled? <laughs> you did? And, well, I have a great program. It helps people lose weight really quickly and it's very safe. And you know what the greatest thing is? I don't know if you've put your weight back on or you've tried to diet before, but I teach them how to keep it off long term. Would you be interested in, in hearing some more about that? I'm always interested in hearing Great. about that. Great. Well, you know, um, give, can I have your business card? I'll send you some sure. information. Sure. card. Thank you. And here's mine. And okay. um, are you on Facebook? I am. Let's stay connected there. Maybe you and I can build our businesses together. Okay. Great, Great. to meet you. Okay. And then you go off. And, you know, I, I walked away probably with maybe five people's names that I knew that A, I would want to work for, B, they could probably give me referrals. And you know what? My heart is that... I, I know I can save people's lives. My biggest weight loss guy is 180 pounds. And you know what? If I hadn't had the courage to step out and say to him, you know, how are you and what do you do? I met him at a booth. Um, he would probably be dead by now because his whole family died when they were 41 and now he's at 44. So again, look at, don't look at, you know, I'm feeling uncomfortable. Just say, you know what? I could save somebody's life. I could give somebody a better life. And get out of your comfort zone and go to those networking meetings or meetups. If you like walking, if you, you know, like me, your grandma that takes care of your kids three days a week, you know, go, go and find other grandmas that take care of their kids three days a week. So find something that you, you can connect with people. The other thing is I just, um, I joined a networking group. I don't do a lot of networking groups. There are some people that have built their entire business with this, so it's really something you need to look at. But I joined this networking group and I went, and it was a small group, really nice people, and I talked to several people and no, you know, I started making connections, whatever. This was about six months ago. Nothing. I thought, well, that was kind of a bust. But I'm going to keep going because people are nice, you know? At this point, I have five clients that are there six months later. So one person got interested. She was a beautician. She did the hair of a whole bunch of other people in that group. She loved our relationship and the coaching. She was talking to people about it. So. It's rare. I don't know. If you're Gina, maybe this isn't rare. But for me, I think it's for most normal people, it's pretty rare that you go in and get a client. Go to a networking group and they sign up that night. That's not that common. So don't set yourself up for being disappointed if you don't come away with three clients from that first time you go. You're just setting relationships, you're getting them uh, connected with them, you're going to send them emails, you're going to drip on them. It's a way to start the relationship. And so remember, you know, 80% of the people that you speak to aren't going to make that decision on the first time. They're going to take 5 to 12 <laughs> times. So my 180 pound guy didn't think he needed me the first time I told him what I did, but after six months, when he was ready, he got on the program. So again, we're going to, I think that's the way into follow-up because we've got two minutes left. Okay. So how do you do that follow-up? Um, who's really good at follow-up? No, me neither. I'm gonna, who, who, so what I'm going to teach you now is you can either automate it or there's one simple thing that you can do. So when I said to Karen, I'm going to send you some information, so get your pens out. Probably the best way for her to forward that information onto other people that it can also help is if you go to you know your own personal website, tsfl.com forward slash explore. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gives them a brief overview of you know what Tech Shape for Life is, what the habits of health are, and then it, there's a, a place for them to put their contact information. And it's got all the DVDs and the testimonials that they can click on and look at. So that's a w good way to capture maybe not Karen's information, but she's thinking, oh, you know what? This young girl was talking about high blood pressure, let me forward it on to her, and then she can fill in that contact information and you get that back. Then the second way, like for Facebook, you know, like I wanted to connect with her for Facebook, on um, teamglobalwebinars.com, under the photo section, there are maybe 200 testimonials. So even if you don't have your own personal story or your know, own client's personal stories, get 30 of them um, and start like a little campaign. So with Karen, I, I'd send her that first one, and then like maybe a week later, I'll send her on an email or on Facebook. And he, um, <coughs> they actually tell you how to download the photos. I mean, I'm technologically challenged, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. So do that. And then um, 
What's the one you're in the next? So a great thing yeah. to say is at, at that, what's your email? You know, let me send you something. And is it okay if I update you occasionally? It's on the bottom of the form. Yeah, it's yeah. on the bottom down there. And then once they say yes, before and after pictures are your best, best thing that you can do. If I'm talking to a guy that needs to lose 30 pounds, I'm not going to send him a before and after picture of a woman who lost 100. I'm going <coughs> to kind of tailor. I'm going to look through there and see, okay, what picture would resonate with him? And um, send those before and after pictures. Just thought you'd like to see about, you don't have to say that it's not your client. You can say one of our clients. That's not being disingenuous. You know, you can say, just thought that you'd like to see one of our clients who has had amazing success on the program. Their story's a little bit like yours. Yeah. Something like and that. And for me, for Philip, you know, he looked at me and I, you know, he didn't know my weight loss story. And on that six months when I actually had been to national convention and there was a gentleman that had lost 220 pounds, I said, hey, can I have your business card? And I stuck my information over, over his information and I sent it to him. And Philip looked at him and thought, if he can do it, I can do it. So again, send stories that resonate. So we hope that you got a few ideas that will help you. And the main takeaway is you're not trying to get a client. Sure. <laughs> Change yes. that mindset. You're trying to build relationships. Wonderful things will happen. Wow. Thanks. Great.